identified for her time. Maggie's ability to portray sexy, adorable, strong images keeps her in demand. Modeling is like acting because you play a different role each time. For the Versace um, pictures that we did, it was very renaissance, I think. Very much about being strong. The whole set was, was so elaborately done. Hair and makeup and clothes and the music's going and everyone's got that attitude. You become that character. And she really absorbs the feeling of each designer's vision. People don't like just plain dumb beauty anymore. They want something else. They want something that's a little bit more provocative and she has that. When I'm working, I try to be professional. I try to have fun. And I try, most importantly, to find out exactly what they're looking for and try to project that. Yeah, she's sweet. She's fine. She's on time. Maggie also has a fluid relationship with the camera. <laughs> the girl who wore this in the show did not do it justice, but on you, it's perfect. And Maggie's very natural and very fresh. Very gorgeous girl. She tastes cool in a beautiful way. She's very chic, very elegant. That's divine. <laughs> divine. This work style, combined with her fresh girl-next-door image, appeals to designer Michael Kors, who chose her for the 1999 Celine campaign. I think Maggie is sporty without being a cliché. Her face has amazing angles. Her coloring is remarkable. She wears clothes beautifully. Body. Um, her hands are fabulous. Her arms are fabulous. It's just clothes are right on her. For a girl that enjoys working in exotic locations like St. Bart's, work turns to play. I think that's one of the best things about this is you get to travel all over the world, see all these incredible, incredible things. You want a model to be in a great mood when she's having her picture taken. It's like you want to put a girl in a situation that's logical for her. And this is logical for Maggie. I mean, she's <laughs> like sporty, outdoorsy kind of girl. Maggie's collaboration with Michael Kors extends beyond Celine to his own namesake line. She opened Michael Kors' Spring 99 show and remains one of his top models. Coming up, fun in the big city, staying in shape, and family gatherings. Maggie Reiser, next on Model. Take a picture of yourself, because after using anti-aging total effects, your skin may never look the same. It gives you better results faster than these major department store products and over time fight seven signs of aging. Total effects from Olay. Something City, I have a message for the American president. How does threatening these people have anything to do with your cause? Control of the airplane. Keep it going. Kurt Russell, Steven Seagal, and Halle Berry. The executive decision. Eight Sunday on City and CKBU 13. Quite as wonderful in your home as having fresh roses. It's just something that's so delicious. Friday on Shabby Chic. There would be no Shabby Chic without a flower. It's really a nice, quiet way to complete the decoration. Rachel Ashwell uses the aesthetic beauty of roses and the escape they provide. I thoroughly enjoy looking for just flowers, flowers, flowers all the time. Shabby Chic really is about a casual elegance. Roses on Shabby Chic. Friday at 7 Eastern on Fashion Television Channel. Maggie Reiser's career took off after she learned to walk in heels. Her all-American looks landed her campaigns, covers, and collaborations with top designers. Yet all of this hasn't changed Maggie's playful nature. <laughs> I just love walking around New York and people watching. On rare days off, Maggie hangs out in her New York apartment with her older sister, Julia. They rummage through her closet, collections, and photos. These are pictures of the weekend we moved Maggie into her first apartment in New York. Same apartment. Yeah, there's my shirt. I can't believe you gave it away. <laughs> I didn't give it away. I'm wearing your shirt. I know, right there. She took my shirt and she made it, she cut off the sleeve. She made it a headband <laughs> for her bear. <laughs> See, there's Maggie in my shirt and there's my shirt on her bear. Maggie's room is a collection of her favorite things. 
This is our cottage. That's Julia. My mom, my father, my sister, my other sister, Katie and Patricia. And I don't know who that ugly girl is. I'm infatuated with the Beatles and I got these when I graduated high school. I begged for them because I, I love them. They played like each other played. What a, what is the Beatles song? Strawberry Field. Um, oh, I've got every single one. I got this one for graduation from high school too, because I was just, I couldn't get enough of the Beatles. Beatles, Beatles, Beatles. This is one of my most prized possessions. Picture of me and Paul McCartney and Linda McCartney. The Beatles are her passion. Our mother suggested that she put Beatles stuff on the trunk. I don't know, how did I get these? I cut, I cut it out of like everything. From like calendars to newspapers, off of my CD wraps. What did I have? This one I got out of Rolling Stone. It took me the whole entire summer to put it together. And then I, I taped everything on there, glued it on, and then I polyurethaned it. And I took it away to college, packed my clothes, and off I went. <laughs> the closet is still a source for sisterly fights. She used to steal <laughs> my clothes? Oh my goodness. You, you can can't share have any of them. You can this coat is I so steal these for me. Last <laughs> year, you know. I don't care. No, can't have it. I have the most incredible shoes, and so many people have given me shoes. Obviously, I think this is my favorite pair of shoes. These are my Miu Miu boots. I love these. Um, my Anna Sweetie, which. <laughs> but Maggie's passion is flats. She used to have this pair of black Doc Martens, and. She, oh my goodness, she left these things at a field hockey game once and it was two hours away and she cried the entire way home because she didn't have her shoes. These are my favorite boots. I, I, I got these in eighth grade. She got those in eighth grade. And I wore them to my high school graduation. She wore them to her confirmation. She wore them to my confirmation. She wore them to her confirmation. Wore them, confirmation. She wore them everywhere. They, they, I mean, they look really ugly, but they were very important. They're hideous. <laughs> She loves clothes. One of my newest additions, <laughs> my new Martinko's clothes. Look at that, you have another coat that's practically identical to this. That's small, this is Frank. <laughs> this is Julia's, that's Maggie's. There's no way to have this fun. Starving. Except okay. going to lunch. Is that really going to point something out to you? What? Did I just set them down? No. <laughs> okay. across the street. Diet. We're getting eating healthier, more more healthily. I try. Yeah, yeah. No, I did not. I'm trying to because this makes me see these grandiose statements, and then she's like, ignore you know what, what I'm doing. doing. Oh. After spending the day with her sister, Maggie still has time to stop into one of her favorite stores. Just to get my. Look at these. Oh. After shopping, Maggie enjoys a writing lesson. I used to write a lot when I was in high school and everything, and I uh, had a horse. I'd love to, to be a veterinarian, or, I mean, even if I didn't end up being a veterinarian, I'd love to, you know, definitely have a lot to do with animals after I finish modeling. Just because, I don't know, I think they give you a nice peace of mind, and, you know, they're very calming. No creatures. Coming up, sharing the cover with her boyfriend's other dream girl, and where she first made her mark. My hands are grown. Maggie Riser, next on Model. If you've been sitting a while, did you know that on your heavy days, your flow could increase up to 2,000 times? That's why you need these new Always Maxis for faster absorbency. They absorb so much faster, twice as fast, for cleaner, drier protection. 
So when you stand up, there are no surprises. New Always Maxis. Expect more protection. This is my happening and it freaks me out. Get scared. Learn Kung Fu. Kung Fu's useful. Get it on. You're a groovy boy. I'd like to strap you on sometimes. Hit the streets. Heavy. Puppy at the beach. Far out. Head to the only spot that has it all. Come down to the drive-in. We're on it right now. I know I'm proud of myself as a piece of meat. Who are you? What's the big deal? Wow, I don't know. Every day. Everything is always the best. It's always the best. Model, Monday through Sunday at 7.30 Eastern on Fashion Television Channel. When she's not running to do the shows, shooting campaigns in exotic locations, or starring on covers, Maggie loves going home to Watertown, New York. You are where you come from. So this is my house. Welcome home. <laughs> I've lived here since I was about, I mean, oh, since I was in fifth grade. And let's go inside. Her mom is her biggest <laughs> fan. This is my mom's thing. She gets all these magazines, and she has sticky tape for each page that I'm on, so it's a real problem for anyone that comes in the house. Oh, you know, there I am. Oh, my goodness. During her stay, Maggie spends time with her longtime boyfriend, Jorge. We've been going out about uh, six years. Well, 10, 11, 12, 14, six years now. Five and a half years. To Jorge, Maggie's success comes down to one cover. My husband has this little infatuation with Kate Moss. I used to look at her and say, wow, isn't that amazing? You know, she's on the cover of Vogue, she's doing this and that. And now that's where I am, and I think, you know, God, you know, she's a lucky girl, but I have to realize I am a really lucky girl. Maggie's real fortune is her appreciation of her hometown and treasured high school memories. I was a fan for two reasons. A class I could get out on easily, and we got to go to Six Flags. So, uh, I got this, um, what's it saying here? It says, who is this former WHS grad, which is Watertown High School, WHS. And it's a picture of me, it's a, in a Versace coat. It's just little WHS news. Is that the name of your? Uh, yeah, I, I saw your picture of the cover and the dress, a beautiful picture, we all bought it. I'm on Vogue now. <laughs> I'll show you exactly, exactly where Jorge had his picture of Kate Moss hanging in his locker. Because Jorge's locker... Jorge, this one was yours? See what extremes I have to go to to get you to hang my picture up? Her interest in photography started in high school. Oh, Every once in a while, we lift your picture up and we let them see, like, you know, what a model looks like. <laughs> we have a resource right here from Watertown. I can tell you all about photography now. I know everything except the stop sign. Hey, While her visits to Watertown are special, her greatest pleasure is visiting her family's summer cottage on Lake Ontario. We spend every summer here, I spend every summer of my life here, and it's just the most incredible place because it's so, so peaceful. At the lake, Maggie loves playing with her dogs and spending time with her younger sisters and brother. I have three sisters and one brother. We're extremely close. Why do you think you want to be a model someday? Maggie still has her room in the cottage, which is filled with childhood memories. This is my room. It's got a little bit of my more high school attitude, I think. Got my field hockey sticks. I love my field hockey sticks. These are actually, this was the first field hockey stick I had. And then this was the one that I 
finish with. This is what I was playing with when I got hit in the head with. And then I feel like I have a big scar right now. Well, not a big scar, but a little scar here now. It's got my number on it. Recognizing her flaws also keeps her grounded. I don't worry about having flaws because I think, you know, I'm this is not going to change. So why worry about it? But if, I think just like anybody else, um, I sit there and I'm like, oh, God, you know, I've got too many freckles or I've got, you know, my nose is too pointy or just, I don't, I'm just saying, like, I think everyone at one point or another turns around and says, oh, I don't like that. Or she's got, she's got boobs. How come I, how come I don't have a chest, you know? She knows that exterior beauty is a, a temporary gift from God and interior beauty is what counts. She's always been a pretty solid person, although we do make fun of her a lot. From celebrated hometown girl to international model, Maggie recognizes that her unexpected success can happen to anyone. I grew up thinking, you know, I'm going to go to high school, I have to be in the honor society, then I'm going to go to a good college, get a, study hard, get a good job, get married, have kids. And I thought, you know, life was this plan. And then all, all of a sudden, it's like throwing me off course, and I realized that, you know, wow, you know, it doesn't have to be a straight line. I never really thought, oh, you know, I'm going to be a model. It was my mom threw me into this. So, I mean, I'm glad she did, because it's opened me up to a whole new world.